Hi guys, it's Sophie. So I'm gonna be doing a vlog for the next couple days um, and I wanted to share with you what we did today. So I couldn't film before we left because we left pretty early in the morning to get down there, but we went to the Eden Project today. So I was just gonna share with you what it was like at the Eden Project. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, so yeah, we're home now. And I am currently reading Jungle by Patrick Roberts. Uh, and I brought it with me for a post to come picture um, today. Um, it's all about the history of tropical forests um, all the way from like the formation of the earth up to today. Really enjoying it so far. We're pretty tired today. Um, it's like six now, but we left early this morning and then like, five and a half hours driving. Um, but yeah, it was a really good day. So I'm gonna sit here and chill and read with Foz for a little bit. Good morning, guys. I thought I might show you a little bit of my frog. My frog's name is Ferdinand. Um, and I think last time I spoke to you, I told you I was getting him, but I hadn't got him yet. Um, I also was gonna show you what's on this window ledge here quickly and talk about what I'm gonna be doing after that plan. So I wanted to just show you um, these plants. I've got some of these cuttings off of Etsy. Um, this one is Silvery Anne. This is a philodendron, I can't remember what kind. Hi Fuzz. And then in here I have some more of the same philodendron and um, some more Silvery Anne. I wanted to split them and see how they did respectively in open and closed because this is going to be more like what it will be like upstairs. And then these are my favourites. This is the Pothos Marble Queen um, and this is Enjoy. I just think they're gorgeous. So we're going to remove the cat <laughs> um, because I'm petrified they're going to eat the cuttings. And then up here where we propagate our houseplants anyway, I've got a little bit of Wandering Dude which needs to go back upstairs. This one's Stara that I just wanted a bit more of. Um, and then this one is another terrarium one. This one is a jewel orchid. You can't kind of see from there. I'm gonna show you how pretty the leaves are. There you go. That one's a really pretty one. Um, it's not done anything yet, but apparently it can take seven weeks. So this is Ferdinand's home. Um, he's tucked away. So we've done a little bit of cinema magic and I've taken some photos from when he was up here yesterday. Um, it is very bare at the top. So I tried an asparagus fern. Um, but it turns out it's not actually a fern. Um, so I have two bromelids that are coming on Thursday. I also have another orchid. Um, that one in the back is an orchid. And that's where he is now. <laughs> um, so I have another orchid to attach somewhere to the background. Um, but yes, this is his little home and I will show you a clip of him now. So that is Ferdinand. Is he? Isn't he cute? Isn't he so cute? Um, he's much more active. He's nocturnal, so he's much more active from like eight p.m. till I would say around five a.m. Six-ish. He's kind of back to bed again. Um, the only clip in which he was awake is the third, or like fully awake is the third one. Um, and I didn't manage to get any of him moving around. Um, I did put a video on Instagram a while ago of him doing a big jump, which was very cute. Um, yeah, so for Ferdinand's home, I have the bromelids that I need to mount. I have the orchid I'm going to try and put at the back. Just because he loves hiding behind the one he has, it felt like a good idea to get another one. Um, yeah, so that's what his home will look like. And then I have big plans. So 
I would also like to get some red-eyed tree frogs. Um, so that is what a lot of those plant cuttings are for. Some of them um, I've split out and some of them are already in with Ferdinand. You probably can't tell because there's a lot going on, like on the ground. Not that he likes, the, he's an arboreal frog, so he doesn't really go on the ground, but I like them. Um, but yes, so I have a, another terrarium coming either today or tomorrow. Super exciting. It's going to take a lot longer to build it because I'm going to do like custom backgrounds and try and do it properly. There's like an awful lot you learn in this particular hobby that you only really learn by like being in the hobby for a longer period of time. So it's been like three and a bit months now that I've had interest in it and just every time I more get into it the more I learn basically. Um, so I'm going to be doing a like custom background trying to make the back. I don't I hate the background in Ferdinand's. And the plan is to like plant it all up, let it all settle, put Ferdinand into it, um, and then strip back his home. Gonna get like a plant bin to keep all his soil, which is all like just smells beautiful. It's full of like life. Um, it just smells so good. Like I can't. It smells just like amazing. Anyway, keep all of that because it's clearly doing well. Keep all the plants and all the wood and stuff. Though I think I might replace the big, nice, pretty wood because it. Apparently it just rots out really fast. Um, and I'm gonna redo his background and redo his so that it all just looks a bit more naturalistic and I'm gonna give him some side cover. And then I'll move him out of his <laughs> revamped enormous home for the red eyes, back into his nice new redecorated home and then wait for a few months just to make sure that it's completely like quarantined, that there's nothing left of Ferdinand still living in there, <laughs> like any bacteria he might have had, anything like that before I introduced the red eyes. Now obviously I've had Ferdinand now for three weeks, so he seems completely healthy, there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with him, but it just feels like the right thing to do. Um, so yes, I have big plans, it's all very exciting. Um, I doubt that in this vlog I'll show you any of me building the new terrarium, um, because I want to do it nice and slow, I really want to take my time with it, I really want to enjoy it. Um, so I think like I might potentially just show you what's turned up but I'm not gonna like try and do a build in a couple of days, I just want to take my time with it and do it over a month or so um, in evenings and weekends and stuff. So yes, that is that is what we're up to. Um, back to non-frog news, back to book news. Um, I'm still reading Jungle um, by Patrick Roberts, I keep forgetting his name. Um, I read, you know, I read a lot of it last night actually, I'm probably two thirds of the way through um, and I'm really enjoying it. It's definitely like history of jungles rather than like descriptions of jungles. I felt like I wanted more like descriptions of jungles but it's still really really good. It's just like not the exact part of my brain I wanted itching. Um, but yes, I am definitely enjoying it. Um, so I only have like one thing on today which is just uh, a not particularly interesting thing to film um, so I'm gonna go do that but otherwise today is just relaxing and reading so I'm hoping I'm gonna finish Jungle and then get on to some fiction. So it's a little later in the afternoon now and Tom and I chatted for quite a while this morning and then I literally just sat down and finished Jungle really enjoyed it I would say four stars and um, it is a book just all about the history impact and role of tropical forests um but it was really good very informative um yes i'm gonna take a little bit of a break from reading now because i got up at like quarter to nine and other than talking to tom i've literally just read um continually it's like two now so i'm getting a bit tired do you ever get that where you just sit and read you just get a bit tired um foster is here and is asleep I have some stuff I need to do now, like some things on my to-do list, I need to do like meter readings, that kind of stuff that you can't be asked to do when you're at work. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to get up and do some of those things now, and then I will check back in a little bit later. Good morning, I've got a coffee, <clears throat> and I've got my book. I read the whole of Assembly last night, and I just loved it, I, ra I like ran the whole way through it um, in a couple of hours. Um, and I, yeah, really liked it. Um, it's not that early now, but it kind of, I'm kind of a little bit out of it. I had my Cerakol last night. Um, it's really wet, you probably can't see. Um, but I have some plants arriving today and I might get my terrarium today, which would be really exciting. Um, and I think um, we also potentially might go out um, 
to another plant shop um, which Tom would like to go and get some indoor plants from. That could be fun. I'll chat to you later. So I'm about halfway through patient one um, and I'm enjoying it so far. It's a very quick read. Um, it's written like in little sections of her illness that she is sort of finding particularly memorable um, and it just means that you kind of go from one thing to the next thing to the next thing and it's yeah it's just very pacey. Um, it's only about 200 pages long so it's a fairly short one um, and I'm going to take a bit of a break for a minute. It's only uh, 10 past 9. I'm going to play a bit of The Sims 4. Let's um, wake up my computer. Um, this should be fun. Um, I will read a little bit later, I'm sure, and I might just show you a couple clips of the people I'm playing with. So I'm playing as this woman who is on Desert Island. The rules I've set is that she can't have a job and everything that's in her house apart from things she has to survive and the fabricator and the recycler have to be found from dumpster diving um, and she can go around the world to collect plants and stuff. Um, yeah, I'm having, I'm having a good time. I like doing little challenges like this. The terrarium just arrived and the lighthouse as well. I'm going to open it up now. It came all palletised so Tom and I just had to hoop it up the road to um, make our way there but I'm going to undo it and then I'll show it to you. And here it is, I'm so excited. It's so big, like the extra 15 centimetres length and width genuinely makes such a difference. Um, so yes, I'm very excited. I'm going to get rid of the cardboard and the packing straps and stuff but I am mega excited. So the bromelids came, this is what Ferdinand's little home looks like now, I think it makes a lot of difference. Um, the orchid I'm not going to use in here I don't think, um, I will save it for set up downstairs, I've just given him a good misting and we're going to head out for a little bit. We were going to go to a plant shop um, but I think now we're going to go to a fish shop. Content video. Pretty much. <laughs> so it's evening now. I am checking the water is okay on this one. We went to the garden centre as well, which I totally forgot to film. Basically, I was holding two little plants in my hands. But Tom got this one. And I got. It's a bit dark. I got this Fiscus. Pumio, I think that's how you say it. And I've also got this baby alocasia. It's going to be massive. Um, but hang on, let me see if you can see it a bit better in the light. Um, yeah, I thought it was really cute. That is for this terrarium. And then you see down there, we've got some cork bark from the reptile and fish place we were at. And I've got another couple pieces of wood They're upstairs as well as some silicone. And yeah, it's eight o'clock. I'm gonna sit down, we just had dinner, and I'm gonna try and finish patient one. Um, I'm literally like halfway through. Here we go. Halfway through. So yeah, hopefully I enjoy this one. So I'm just gonna say good night and goodbye. I just finished patient one. It's like 11 o'clock. Um, we're finally going to bed and I really enjoyed it. Um, so yes, hopefully it's been nice to follow me around for a little bit, mostly frog stuff and book stuff um but yeah i'll see you guys again soon in my next video and look after yourselves until then bye